what is up everybody and for today it's going to be a nice short video of the test pipe review uh, as of right now I've driven with a test pipe for over a week now so these are my quick first impressions on the whole thing there's some downsides and there's some upsides to having a test pipe installed on the Evo um, the positives completely outweigh the, the downsides but there are downsides um, so I guess I'll start with those two one uh, it is stinkier. Not on a daily day kind of thing. It'll be occasionally when I'm driving and let's say I get to a red light and the breeze just happens to go not uh, in the opposite direction. So I get the breeze coming from the back of the car to the front. It'll blow all the exhaust gases to the front of the car and you'll smell. You'll smell the gas. And yeah, mind you, I like to drive with the windows down so it is noticeable that way. But when you drive with the windows up, completely unnoticeable. You can't even tell the car has a test pipe on, except for the sound, which is number two. It is much louder than driving without the cat. Um, even, like my Evo, for example, has had two volume settings. Let's put it that way. When I had the cat installed, it would be regular driving, even up to boost, like into boost and whatnot. It, it's a certain volume range. And then once I give it a lot of gas, the wastegate opens and then all the gases get dumped to my O2 dump and then the car sounds like a, like a like a train so that's volume setting two now there's two volume settings still but the first volume setting is just loud and then the second volume setting is the train so it is significantly louder for example before when I would drive with the windows down I would have my Bluetooth music on and I would have it set to 16 maybe 17 if the song was quiet enough now I totally need to put up to 21 or to 22 in order to hear the music the same the same amount as I did before um, which also when I turn the car on in the morning I wake everybody up if they're not sleeping and it's pretty it's pretty loud you can hear me coming down the road much louder now which isn't a bad thing to be honest but it, it is it, it is a downside. It is louder. Now for the positives. One, it sounds way better now. Now in the lower RPMs, it just sounds gruntier. It sounds fuller. Whereas before, it will still sound f full, but you can feel some of the sound being filtered out by the cat. So now it is a gruntier sound. It is a fuller sound. So it, it is it, it sounds phenomenal now. Um, number two, it is a little torquier pre-boost. And by pre-boost, I mean from like the 1,000 RPMs to 3,200 RPMs. During that it, during that range, it is it is you you, you can feel the difference. Um, the throttle is a lot uh, like not a lot more responsive, but it is more responsive. Um, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be like 10 horsepower and no, no, none of that. It's probably like two horsepower if that, and like three pounds of torque if that. But the throttle response is much better now because there is none of that buildup that happens pre-catalytic converter like before all the gases get filtered out through the cat and back and out the exhaust so there's none of that build up happening anymore so the throttle response is way nicer um, which also goes to the next point where let's say I'm driving down the road before and let's say I'm cruising maintaining say 40 miles an hour I'll let go of the gas you you can feel the car buckle a little because of the exhaust build up pre cat and like you can feel like it'll be it'll it'll chug a little bit like not a lot, like nothing to drive to drive to get you upset or anything, but it, it you can feel that build up. Now since it's not there, the only thing you hear is just how a car is supposed to sound. It's just decelerating via the RPMs, which is very nice. Um, well, there's really not, nothing else to say. It's like the drivability is way nicer. Throttle response is way nicer. Um, yeah. What, what else can I say? Uh, it it definitely it's. Like that, just for those two, two reasons alone, the upgrade is worth it. So if you have a chance to get a test pipe installed on your Evo or your car or whatever platform you're using, go for it. Um, if you're unfortunately living in the states that do have the emissions testings, it's up to you what you do. I guess you can install the test pipe, uh, like throughout the, the whole year, and then once smog testing season comes in, swap out the cat, do your exam, and then swap it back out. It's up to you, but then you're also running the risk of having a police officer pull you over and checking under your car to see if you stop a cat or not. 
No, so it, so that's the risk you have to take. But if you live in a state that does not have smog testing, go for it. It's a huge upgrade. Well, not huge upgrade. It's a great upgrade with a couple downsides and two really good upsides. So it's all it's all a matter of preference, I guess. It's, a, it's like in my opinion, it gets like twelve thumbs up. Uh, twelve out of ten is a really good really good rating, I think. No, so yeah. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, gives it a thumb down. You know, like you know my my little spiel. It helps me gauge what you guys like as far as content goes. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Follow me on social medias. I'll link them all in the video somewhere. And yeah, until next time.